Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to show you a demonstration of a car showroom management project in JSP and Servlet. Uh, again, it's a job application and it's a web application and uh, for the tools and technology, it's, used, it's following MBC architecture to manage the controllers or backend things, it's using Servlet and to manage the front end things, it's using JSP, HTML, CSS and the bootstrap over there. So let me open the web app. Yeah. Uh, so under the JSP, it has all the JSPs under the controller, it has uh, blades, beans are there and uh, models are there to perform database transaction, to connect with the database, it's using JDBC and some utility helper class are there. So if you want to, to buy this project, and so you can check the link in the description box for the same video, so you will get the direct buy link. Also you can connect us over the WhatsApp, Skype or email. Uh, so. Uh, you can buy the project directly from us and then we will help you to set up the project at your machine so don't worry about the configuration at all we will provide the complete configuration at your machine and after that configuration you need to follow this demo in order to run this application so this is the id eclipse id where we are going to run the application another tool you need a mysql uh, like mysql workbench here into this mysql workbench we have multiple tables user inquiries feedback company cars information so for the user roles we have a user table and in this user table we have the username and the password so uh, like there are two types of user admin and the uh, end user it's a customer so we'll log in one by one and see how they are uh, approaching to the application so I just to in order to run the application, just right click on it, go to run as, run on server, select a server as a tomcat, click on finish. If it will ask to restart, just restart the server. Automatically the application will launch over your Chrome browser. And um, it's going to launch on my Chrome browser. Yeah, it's launching. I'm going to close other tools. Alert. Okay, so this will be your home page here. Um, this is the basic design. So in the home page, you can see the logo headings and sign in and sign up option. So if you are a new customer, here we have an option to sign up. You can fill up your details and you can sign up. Like, like in the database, if you user table, you will see currently we have six record. And let's register as a new user and see the new record over there. So just enter the meaningful data. I just entered a uh, uh, name over there, email, password, and the number, some 10 digit number, gender, and mail. So, address. When I hit the register button, it says user registered successfully. And if I refresh my database now, I will see the seventh record is there as a user. We'll log in this user in a while. And another option we have is a login. So, here I'm going to log in as an admin and then we'll go for the other users so i just enter username and password for this user and here as a, after login as an admin i can see multiple options are there so we have a user list we have a company profile to add a new company and view the company list to view the car information we can add as an admin we can add a new car information we can view the list of the car information inquiries we can view the inquiries we can view the feedback so here into the user list, you will see all the users that is registered into this application as an admin, you can check it. Here into the company list, we can add a new company. Let's say I'm going to say a new company. Let's say this is a Jeep. I just added the company name as a Jeep. And now if I view the company list, it will display here. I can perform edit and delete operation for the same. Now, here into the aid configuration aid, aid, aid car information uh, we can add the information of the car so let's say i need to select the car the jeep as a recently added uh, company over there and the car name i'm going to enter the new car name let's say gyi car and the price let's say i'm going to say it like i need to choose the image so I have some car image, so I'm going to select this one. I enter the address and some information about it. So data is saved successfully. When I view the car information, you will see 
here we have another category as a company type as a jeep when i click into the jeep it will filter out the data that recently updated when i click into the all company it will say the information of the all company also you can delete the record if you want to delete next thing here we can view the information of view the queries of the users and like this is the user that given a query have a test drive so we can give answer uh, here uh, test first yes you can so i'll just save it and now the answer is yes you can so we can answer it we can delete the queries as well we can view the feedback that is given by the users so recently we have just signed up uh, like the, then the fun feature and functionality that is going to perform from the admin side now uh, it's recently we have registered as a new user i'm going to log in with the same user i'm going to show you how this user is direct over there so i just enter username and a password for this end user or customer and so this customer have three options the car list view inquiry and the same feedback so here the customer can view the information of the car you can filter out the car accordingly and let's say i'm going to send an inquiry so let's say let's say, 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 say can i have a test drive so i click on the save this inquiry is sent successfully if i view the inquiries i can see my inquiries answer is not given yet by the admin if admin will give answer it will display here and i can send a feedback it was nice click on the save it's gone so in this way we can view the information we can send your queries and again if i go for and login as an admin then i can check all these details okay correct email is this and okay so is this if I view my inquiry section, I can see the new inquiry here for GYI car. Can I have a test drive? And I answer it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So I just save it. Re inquiry. You can see answer. The same answer will display to that customer over there. The feedback we got. And that was nice. So that's all about uh, like uh, project uh, showroom management, car showroom information management. Uh, in this P and Servlet, it's a minor project, so you can have it if you need. Uh, just connect over the WhatsApp, Skype, and don't worry about the setup and configuration. We have other services as well. You can take the explanation. So we will explain the internal code as well, how the things are working over there. Thank you.